Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, over the last few days, the Australian dollar has attempted to try and recover from the support level around 75, 75 to 90 after briefly challenging at least twice under 76 cents. The recent recent recovery has not been able to sustain. Looking at the technical assessment, we're still, at this present stage, remaining underneath the midway point on the RSI, as well as the MACD holding negative, and we are trending. I do anticipate that we should see further weakness towards this region, somewhere around 75.70, and reassess from there. Do keep an eye on the 60-day moving average, which is around 75.30. In the event we do see both these levels break, then we could see a drop back towards 74 to about 73.70. But let's keep an eye on how we are looking at the moment before getting further down that pathway, because I'd still feel that the bulls will continue to defend this region around 75.70. The euro coasting sideways and still presently locked in a tight range of around one, as you can just bring this up a little bit here, you can see the market is holding roughly around 120.60 to the top side range around 121.75. Now the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, is still poised for a further test up. Now we get a break above that inverse head and shoulders neckline at 90.80, then we could see further risk of a euro sell-off and see a move to the objective that I'm holding at around 120. Any advances should still lack momentum beyond that 121.60 area. The dollar yen view, the market has pushed higher since the break of this trend at 104.25 and nearly captured the 105 level. I do anticipate that we could still be looking up towards 106 as a potential target and dips likely to be shallow. But as you can see, the ADX is trending very firmly. So that's why I feel the dips will be shallow. And no doubt possibly see support around the low region of 104. Sterling, well, how many attempts have we seen at 137, 45, 65 and not been able to break higher? I'm a little bit skeptical in terms of the top side, but the RSI, let's keep an eye on that. The MACD is negative, so it's really a challenge between the bulls and bears. If this pattern does hold out towards the top side, then eventually the bears should eventually push and weigh their paws on the market and see a move back to 135, which I still anticipate. Therefore, that would see sterling yen take a snap to the downside. But it really needs to see that move for sterling to get the move down. Otherwise, we could still be looking up towards this top side of the range, seen somewhere close to 144, figure 50. Gold, well, we've seen very knee-jerk reactions towards that top side resistance of 1,878. Nevertheless, the balls are still holding in. Keep an eye on these technicals. MACD is breaking to a potential ball case if we see a move through 1,878. The RSI has shot up to the upside and holding there at the moment. Let's see if the market can break above that 78 level. It is a very um, packed data week. We've got the RBA tomorrow and also we've got non-farm payrolls at the end of the week. So we could see some much volatility in the Australian dollar as well as the US dollar. So let's see if the gold can break through 78. I got a feeling it won't and therefore could see a pullback to this vulnerable sport of 1,820. Wrapping up with oil, we're still backing away from that resistance of 54 and still could see a move down to that 49 and a half level. I anticipate that the market will probably pause there, but let's see if the indicators can continue this decline and therefore could see a break of 49. But let's see before the call and how the technicals are looking as we get closer towards this support. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intraday report and I hope you enjoy the great start to this day.